are we finding like the identity of the Tea Party here, do you think? You know, is that why we're here? I want to do, are we on? Yes. You're on, yes. okay. Yeah, I, I, um, I think it's, it's a, a great experiment to have people come together under a common, common cause. And uh, we have to understand that we are in control of this government and not the government in control of us. This is at all a response to maybe the Republicans here, no. ignoring some people for a while. Because no, 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 this could all in like a year and a half maybe from a, a mushroom out of the ground. And right. if they had maybe paid attention to some people, do you think that would have not happened? Because I've heard this, this echo that um, we're sort of not leaving the Republican Party, but we're giving it a poke in the ribs uh -huh. to try and bring it back to what we think it should be doing. I think that there's two, there's multiple issues here. You've got the, the Democratic Party that are slamming things through against the will of the majority of the people, uh -huh. the health care issue being one of them. You have the Republican Party who has lost its own roots as to what they're all about. And then you find both parties ignoring the movements that have taken place that have been grassroots. If I was going to sum this up for maybe one sentence, I would say that these people here think they're the keepers of the Constitution, that they're the That's last correct. people who are um, paying attention to it. That's correct. Uh -huh. And and. Uh, there is a lot of ignorance about truly what the Constitution says and the powers that it has and who has those powers. I think even the states have forgotten that the federal government was formed by the states, not the federal government forming the states. And I think that a lot of people need to be educated about exactly what our responsibilities are as citizens and where we should stand and what we should stand on and expect our government to do. Do you want to add anything? Sir, let me be asked you oh, a question. Oh, do I need to move? Sure. Do you have a press credential? Yes. If you could give it. On the uptake. Not for it. Yesterday I was allowed to be in here. Okay, okay. But, but today's going to be changed because it'll be a little bit hectic. Do we need to stay away from well, this? Well, we need, we've set up a media room. If you really? Do interviews or whatever. And then the governor's chambers is right down the hallway here on the right. Okay, you can have so many people congregating here. If everybody throws yeah. up a tripod, it would be a mess. We won't ever get people in and out. So if you have a press credential, could I actually get in more? I actually appealed to you twice, including to Michelle Bachman's office, but would never hear back from you. So uh -huh. I'm just telling what the policy is. So uh -huh. if you don't have the press credentials or you're going to interview, I need to ask you to okay, sure. the okay. governor's chamber. Uh, John Bull's dad worked at the, the, the Daily News, right? Like way back in the day. Try to like get John Cole when I think he went like briefly and posted that to the Daily News. Yeah, 